Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry for the little noise that you're going to hear in the background. I'm sorry about that. It's because like an, um, somebody was on the phone. So I'm sorry about that. Oh, sure. All right. We hope you enjoy this video. Bye. Yes. Today I will be making some black pudding rice. And on this bowl here, just to give you guys an accurate measurement of how much rice I will be using. This is one cup. I mean, no, this is two and a half cup of rice in this measuring bowl here. One milk. This is some sour beef. I boil it out three times. Show with the water. And um, I'm going to be using some spice and clove. So stay tuned. I'm going to wash the rice and then add it to the pot. I have a little water into this. I have some cloves. This is about uh, seven cloves and one piece of spice. One piece of spice and seven cloves. We're gonna add it in some water. Just a little water into this um, pot here. So what I'm going to do is add the milk, one can of milk, right? Rice wash, and I'm going to add the rice also into this water. I'm going to put some more water into this can. Water. The beef. The sour beef. Hurry up. Salt, one tablespoon. Sugar, one tablespoon. I'm going to cover this part on low fire and let it do its thing. Stay tuned. Now this is one and a half water and one milk, right? This is half can of water in this can here. I'm trying to give you guys an accurate measurement. So when you're ready to cook this rice here, it wouldn't be a problem. You understand? This amount of water that I put into this pot here, gonna cook this rice here, loosey and, and nice. Yes. You don't want too much of the salt because when you finish boiling this rice here and everything, you still have to add more salt and season up this rice in order to make the white and black pudding. All right, so stay tuned. I'm gonna cover this down. So now that the rice is finished, I'm going to leave this rice to cool. I'm going to throw it out in a bowl and I'm going to take out all the spice and clove 
out of the rice when the rice cool and then the next step will begin all right see lucy so after the rice is cold i'm gonna pour this rice out into a bowl in this bowl here and i'm gonna take out all of this um clove i want to make sure i take these cloves out of here <clears throat> Make sure so your hand clean. All right? And I'm going to put it in a bowl. And I loose up the rice. So that's going to be the process for now. Take out the clove that is in the rice. Clove and the spice right just stay tuned so here are the ingredients this is the runner these are clean you have to clean this with wash it with salt flour and vinegar or uh, lime right so you can't leave it too long the vinegar or anything you have you can't leave it long on it but the salt and the flour is where you normally use to wash this and get off all the slime off of it. And make sure so you put it in the pipe and let the water run through. Right through so you would know if it have oil or anything. Alright, this one. This is the rice that I'm going to be using for the black pudding. I'll separate the rice. And this is the rice we're going to be using for the white pudding. Uh, this is the grind seasoning. This is broad leaf thyme fine thyme and mard man pork all right it's hard for you to get certain stuff here if you do get it but this is it right um the milk is for the uh white pudding and this is the blood for the black pudding right make sure that when you cook this rice that how much spice and clove you put inside that you would know so whenever you're ready to start you would be able to take out the same amount that you put in right um a lot of people ask me or say to me they never um see anybody use the nutmeg well i've been making black pudding for it before me in come to america i used to make black pudding and sell on the market for those dining people for some reason, the nutmeg is give it a different taste and a texture. Just, a lot of people don't know. This is not just rice and just mix it like this. This may be sometimes white some people black and don't even taste properly. This is just my gesture. And again, everything that I put in is optional. If you don't want to put it, you don't have to. But if you you can try it. This was half um, nutmeg, the whole one, half of it. You know, when me to the rail down to the bottom, you can't even um, think it can, you can grate your fingers. This is it. You put a little salt, this is a taste, even though you cook put um salt for cooked the rice, you don't want to. You just want a little bit more to give it a you know a flavor. Just, just less than a, a quarter of the salt. Same thing with the sugar. Just less than a see, maybe like a half of a teaspoon. Half of a breakfast stick a eating spoon, which is a tablespoon. All right. Seasoning. And 
this black pudding here. Season up with um. Push this back. So I'm gonna add the coconut milk. I'm not gonna add all. I'm gonna half. Make sure so you get all the lump out of the rice. Alright. I'm going to talk about white pudding. Because it's white pudding. It's supposed to have good seasoning. It wasn't be white, white looking white. You must see the seasoning in the rice. No Alright. Okay, I'm going to put some more milk in there because the reason why you put milk in here is so whenever you're ready to stuff, it wouldn't give you a hard time. It must be easy to stuff. So do the black pudding. When you put the blood in the rice, it must be able to. Look at it. All right. It's almost like a tin. It's a little bit left. It's more than, yeah. Yeah, this is it. As I tell people when you're doing the black pudding, the more milk and season you put in it, it get a better taste. Hello, little fresh. Okay, this is done. The, um, the blood now. I'll be back. This is it. Okay, now with the stuffing process, make sure so you put this as far as you can and you hold it. And fold as much as you could can hold into this funnel and you get by this plug here so you got a fine stick and you start this is the white what I'm doing I'm gonna boil the white first because some people don't deal with blood so I have to deal do this first you always do the white one first Make sure you keep holding this thing tight because it slips sliding as you pull up. All right. Now when you get it, um, I get this fun in here. 
I center it from the end because it's much more spacious. The mouth is much bigger and it's not giving you a hard time to stuff. But you could get a, a drinks bottle as an alternative if you don't have any other way of getting it, you know. And you don't want it to stiff, um, stuff this stiff, neither. I just bringing this down, but most of the time I'm gonna um, smooth it back out. So that when it boil, it would not um, when it started to swell in the, the runner, it would get space. So when you stiff, when you think it, you don't stuff it stiff. All right, you got to know it must feel kind of less soft, and, you, and then when you stuff it too stiff to the bile, as I said, it will bust in the pot. All right, you see it. So now this is the white, right? The water is here boiling, so I'm gonna turn the stove down a little because the water gonna sparkle and burn me. It burns. You see how much water is in this pot here? So I'm gonna turn on the stove a little so that the water would not keep boiling like this. And I'm gonna add the black pudding into this pot. And you cannot overboil it. All right. So I'm gonna, and I didn't tie the the edges neither. The heat normally get the the, the edges closing the edges. I'm gonna turn it down like the medium heat and let it boil. In order for you to know when this bi finished boiling, you use a toothpick and prick it, prick it. All right. So now I'm gonna start by stuffing the black pudding now. I use my hands because it's more easy. And it would be the same process how you stuff it you know Normally when you're stuffing, it normally get air. So you gotta make sure you squeeze out the air, out of the black pudding. I mean out of the runner. Right? And you gotta keep pushing the runner up. Because as you push, as the stuff, it slides out. Yeah, left a little piece here so when it's ready to boil i'm not stuffing it right down to the edge edge mm -hmm. okay
that's in black wouldn't be come out like it's a patient you have to have i wish if i had the, the, the stuff for I, I wouldn't have to work in my hand like this Using a toothpick, I'm not going to. When you do the plug it like this with the um to tip is to pick the plug it especially the black black pudding if the blood when you plug it and the blood coming out that means it's not complete yet it still need a little, a little bit more cooking all right so this almost done i'm gonna next two minutes and i'm going to take this out right and then i'm going to put in the um the black wood but you don't know i turn the stove down very low and that is one of the reasons make it take much more longer than it normally was because i wanted pile too much and then bust you understand because i was focusing on stuff in the other one but i'm gonna take this out in the next two minutes and i will be back it yeah so now I'm gonna put the black one in now oops see that's what I'm saying I don't want to put it like this black one All right I'm gonna turn cover this down and add 50 minutes and then I'm gonna open it and see which it's doing all right so you must get some oil and you're gonna grease this <coughs> I use it in my hands all right well I use my hand so now we're gonna take this brush here and I pour the oil into this plate and I'm gonna oil this all right just 
turn it over and do the same thing all right So now you see this one there, it finished because when I plug it, I'm not seeing any blood water coming out of it. All right. I'll turn it over and see. As I said, whenever you boil this, I boil it for 50 minutes on high heat to boil. And again, that's the reason why I said to, whenever you stuff in the black pudding, don't stuff it stiff because it's the rice swells in the black pudding and that would are able to give it the space it could cook because if you mash it before you put it in the, the pot so you can look and then when it rice swell up inside it swell up to this all right look like this i mean mm. when this black pudding cool off Gosh. Right. We'll grease it now. You just give it a sheen. Turn it over. Some cucumber sour. I'm going to mix it with some other mango that I have. Right? Um, this is garlic. Again, I grate, I grate in it. I don't mean it's not going to take long. Two cloves of garlic, right? Some more, okay. This will let boil a little bit. Some sugar, it's like half of a teaspoon sugar, optional. All right, some pepper sauce. If you have whole pepper, you use that. I want it to be spicy. This is some half of a lemon, I mean lime. This is to give it this sourish taste. To this half lemon lime, I get like three tablespoons lime juice. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get this 
skin here where it's dry I'm gonna grind it I'm telling you the same thing some salt half a tablespoon of salt and let it boil all right and taste it Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. put some milk masala in here all right and look at it wine mix masala okay this is the moment look you want to make sure that it cook right through all right you get a nice knife we're gonna slice through this thing it's hot it's hot all right same thing with this a nice knife is it white Okay, I'm gonna put some salt on this now. Right, this is the white and the black. hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share the video leave a comment if any question free to ask all right you see in the middle here this is the beef the salt beef you can see it mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 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 If you could, mm. yes, it's just right. So, this is another finger food that people love to eat. And look at it. Mm. Mm hmm. This is the beef in the um white pudding. Oh. Mm -hmm. The sour tea is so good, oh my god. With this let a char. Because of the manguine and other things that I put inside. Mm hmm. Try the idea. If you don't like beef, you can eliminate the, the beef. Right? But it gives it that good taste. The salt beef give the um, black pudding, white pudding another different flavor into it the answer <clears throat> thanks for watching don't forget to press the notification button so that every time i post you can um get notification and thank you so much for your time your patience Mwah! love you see you the next one and be safe i must say that we all must be safe because we know what is going on in the world today all right thank you so much again i know without you guys there's no me <laughs>